For page three, we're now getting into the heart of our sums um, with problem number five. The table above gives selected values for a continuous function f. We're told that f is increasing. They're probably telling us that for a reason, so let me just underline that for a moment. f is increasing over the closed interval. Which of the following could be a value for the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx? Okay, well, we know that we have different possibilities here to come up with a value for this um, based off of the table. We've got the left sum, the right sum, the trapezoid sum, and the midpoint sum. Now, we're told that the function's increasing. So if the function's increasing, again, let me just draw a quick increasing function. Right? We can see that a left sum, let me draw a left rectangle, would be an under approximation, whereas a right sum would be an over approximation. So we know that the left is going to be too small. And we know that the right is going to be too large. I don't know if you can see what they're looking for you to do here, but they actually want you to find a left and a right sum. And the left sum will be too small, the right sum will be too large, so therefore the answer of which one could be a value will, should be in between those. So let's do a quick left sum and a quick right sum here and see if we can come up with some values. Now, it doesn't say how many subintervals there are, and yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have the ability to do six subintervals, um, so and each one would be half of a unit, so we can be that exact. You could probably go a little less um, exact, and maybe go every one unit, um, and and come up with uh, a value there, which which may work. Um, but let's just be thorough. Let's go every half unit. So we would for our left sum, right? That would be a half times zero plus a half times four plus a half times 10, plus a half, again, again, I'm saying a half because each one of these is one half of a unit, plus a half times 18, plus a half times 28, plus a half times 40. Those would be the one, two, three, four, five, six intervals. So we're looking at zero plus two, plus five, plus nine, plus 14, plus 20. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 9 is 16, 16 plus 14 is 30, 30 plus 20 is 50. So notice the 50 that we come up with, and 50 is one of our answers. This we know is too small, all right? So 50 is out, but it's going to be bigger than 50. But now watch what happens when we do a right sum, all right? So once again, we have the halves, all right? So we'll have half time, but this time we're going to use the right numbers. So when we have our first interval, We'll pick the 4, not the 0, because we're picking the number on the right. So we have a half times 4, plus a half times 10, plus half of 18, plus half of 28, plus half of 40, plus half of 54. So we have 2 plus 5, plus 9, plus 14, plus 20, plus 27. So 7 plus 9 is 16, 16 plus 14 is 30, plus 20 is 50, plus 27 is 77. Oh, look at that, there's our 77. Now that's a right sum, we know the right sum is too large, so that's out, 100 is definitely out, and our answer is going to be 62. For number 6, this time we're asked, we're given the continuous function, 4 equal subintervals, and we want to do a trap sum. Okay, so you can use your trapezoidal sum, you know, the trapezoid area, or you can also do left plus right divided by two, whichever you prefer. All right. um, I'm going to take care of the trap sum here. So we're going with four equal subintervals. So one, two, three, four. So uh, we have one half, and then the uh, height will be a half, and the sum of the bases will be 3 plus 3. And then we have a half, and again, the height is half, and the sum of the bases, 3 plus 5. All right, and then our next one is a half times a half, and this time it'll be 5 plus 8. And then finally, a half times a half, and 
8 plus 13. So we have uh, a half, a time a half, it's a quarter, times 6, so this is 6 quarters. All right, this will be 8 quarters. This will be 13 quarters. And this will be 21 quarters. So 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 13 is 27, plus 21 is 48. So we have 48 quarters, which is 12. So there's our answer. And finally, with number 7, all right, f is continuous on the closed interval from 2 to 14. Using the intervals from 2 to 5, 5 to 10, and 10 to 14, what's the approximation for this integral using a right Riemann sum? All right, so just doing our arithmetic again here, all right, we can see we have the first base is 3, the second base is 5, and the third base is 4. So we're going to have 3 times, we're looking at the 12 and the 28, we want the number on the right. So 3 times 28 plus 5 times 34 plus 4 times 30. All right, so 3 times 28, well, that's 3 20s plus 3 eights. So 3 20s is 60, 3 eights is 24, 60 plus 24 is 84. We have 5 times 34, so 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 30 is 150, 20 plus 150 is 170. And then 4 times 30, 4 times 3 is 12, so 4 times 30 is 120. So 120 plus 84, that's going to be 204. So we have 204 and 170, so we put those together for 374. So our answer is D.